Hi everyone, I'm Shay and I'm here to help you express yourself more fully. I'm here to help women learn how to embody their feminine and then also just kind of riff on a bunch of self-development healing topics because I am passionate about that. Last video, I mentioned that I was publishing my Grounded Goddess book. This video is to tell you that it's published. Yay! It is finally live, ready for you in paperback version and on Kindle from a bunch of different Amazon marketplaces, depending where you are in the world. This book actually started out as an ebook. So, as I was offering self development workshops, retreats, and mentoring for women, on this specific topic, goddess archetype work. So using the archetypes of four of the chosen goddesses that we worked with, and then learning from them, learning from their energy imprints to basically start expressing yourself more in your life with those models of, of behavior, of action, of expression. Archetype work is really simply using story, meaning, using these characteristics that we see, you know, in certain stories or in something like the goddess uh, concepts or philosophy, and then basically bringing it into everyday life. So, for instance, Saraswati is the goddess of creativity and intuition and higher learning. And she is the goddess that is very close to the more feminine scale. I talk about how each of the goddesses falls somewhere within the scale of masculine and feminine and also explain in the book how you can't really just be only in your feminine or only in your masculine. Back to my explanation, Saraswati, she is the goddess of this creative energy, being in flow, being open to receive these insights, to receive intuition, to receive messages beyond what is right in front of our eyes, to tune in and to not be rigid in plans, goals, like really just bathing in this energy of flow, which allows us to be open to what we want to create. But being in that energy in and of itself isn't really going to help you bring stuff into the world on the material plane. So we need that openness. We need that creativity. We need that flow. But we also need things like maybe some kind of schedule to then Put this into reality. We need some kind of ability to maybe stay a bit disciplined with bringing our creations into life. And that energy is more on the Durga side of things. So she's the goddess, she's the warrior protector goddess, and she kind of exhibits this more slightly masculine ability to show up and just do the thing to say what she means, to set her boundaries, to do the hard things, just as a warrior does the hard things. And she is needed to help our Saraswati essence bring it into life. And this is basically the essence of the book. Like how can we utilize these goddess archetypes in a real world scenario? How can we, yeah, connect with this energy, beautiful, understand this energy, beautiful, but actually use this energy, use these things in an everyday sense. That's what the book is about. And that is what I shared on my first retreat here in Bali. It's what I shared on private mentorships with women. I took them through the four goddess archetypes. And then on a lot of workshops that I was leading at the time in Ubud, Bali, when I worked at the yoga studio. That probably happened, I, I think it was, what, five years ago, maybe, when I first started this work in goddess archetypes specifically. I'd already been diving into feminine embodiment quite deeply, but the archetype work was something that made things click. Like it really made this work click for me. And when I worked with this with other women, it really made it click for them. And that's where I knew the power of this work. So I created this little ebook and I sent it out to them privately. But when I started this journey of publishing my own books, I've already published a few other books. They're coloring books for kids and adults. But longer form books, when I was diving into that, I was like, wow, I really need to turn this into a long form resource for more people to access. So then I started writing more, building it out, adding to it, editing it. And now it is a full on book for you to purchase. 
The launch price is only available until May 20. So after May 20, I'm going to be raising the prices a little bit. But for now, because it's the first few weeks of the book, I'm going to give it at a discounted price for both paperback and the Kindle version. It should be available in hardcover as well, but it just depends on where you are in the world, whether you can access that. At the moment, it can only be purchased from Amazon. If you do not have an, have an Amazon account or you just don't want to purchase from Amazon, reach out to me. I can offer you a digital version of the book through PDF form, but you'll have to contact me and all of my details are in the caption. Okay, I will be tuning in again to talk about these goddess archetypes, to talk about self-expression, to talk about bringing all of these self-development concepts, which is so awesome, into reality, which is often missing in all of this self-development work. How do we make it practical? How do we do the work? Actually do the work, not just understand the work. I'll be tuning in again to share all about that. And if you're brand new to me in this channel, then subscribe if you vibe with it, because I'm here, I'm sharing, and if it resonates, amazing. All right, have a beautiful day wherever you are in the world and speak to you soon.